there's an AI that can take low quality podcast audio recorded on, say, a phone like this and fix it so that it sounds like it was recorded in a professional studio. There's even an AI that will make a perfect digital replica of your voice that you can later use as a voiceover to fix any mistakes that you made when you were recording. But there's hundreds of AI tools for podcasters being released recently. So I've put together this list of the five most useful AI tools that exist right now that make growing your podcast easier. I'll give you a brief explanation of each tool, show you how to use them, and there'll be links to each of the tools in the description to this video. So this first tool will blow your mind and shows just how crazy technology has progressed. It's called Gen FM by a company called Eleven Labs. And in just a single click, the AI will generate a complete podcast episode on any topic for you that's spoken in your voice so that it sounds like it was recorded by you originally. Check this out. I'll show you it at work. So here's the script of a podcast I've had Gen FM generate for me. And I'll just play this right now so you can hear what it sounds like. Imagine a world where AI can create a podcast in your own voice in 40 languages with just a few clicks. Well, that future is here. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Can you tell us more about this technology and who's behind it? Absolutely. The technology is designed to automatically create multi-speaker podcasts. So all of that audio was completely generated by AI to sound like me. I didn't record any of that audio myself. And this technology isn't for everyone. I know a lot of you want to actually sit and record your own podcast episodes and speak to interesting guests. But I wanted to show you this first just to show you how crazy AI has advanced in this podcast space recently. And if you're not keeping up to date with these tools you're going to get left behind with what's out there. If you can't record on your regular recording day, or you just want to increase the amount of podcasts you're putting out per week, check out Gen FM. The link is in the description to this video. And speaking of actually recording your own podcast episodes yourself, this next AI tool is a no-brainer for podcasters. It's obviously Riverside. Riverside ensures you get the best possible video and audio quality for you and any of your guests. And podcast attendees can join from whatever device they want, whether it's phone, tablet, or computer, making interviews just much more likely to happen in the first place. But on top of the great recording platform that Riverside is known to be, there's really useful AI tools inside Riverside that you can use after you're done recording. Let me show you. So when you've recorded your podcast inside Riverside and you're ready to make changes, you'll see this screen. We've got both speakers of the podcast over here on the left. And if we want to change how this podcast looks so that it's not two speakers side by side, but we're only seeing the person speaking full screen one at a time, rather than having to do that edit and make those changes ourselves, we can use AI inside Riverside to do that for us. I'll show you how that's done. So we head over here to layout and we want to choose this setting here, full screen. This will make sure that it's only the person speaking at any moment that's being shown on screen and the other person's hidden. And this is done automatically with AI. We just press this button. Now, if we come back to our podcast and scroll through the timeline, we can see that it's only the person talking at any moment that is now shown in our recording. Also, when Riverside converts your podcast into a script that you can see over here on the left, it develops an understanding of the topics you're talking about in your podcast episodes, and it identifies each new topic as a chapter. And you can see those chapters spread out across the top of the timeline up here. And you can actually move those chapters around so that they come in earlier into your podcast episode or later. So I'll just show you how that works. So you just grab a chapter and move it to where you want to be. So I'll move it left here and drop that there. And now that section has been moved much earlier in the video to this point. Riverside is just a really great tool for getting your podcast episodes to look how you want them to look. You can get 15% off Riverside by using the link and the coupon code in the description to this video. This next tool is a lifesaver for podcasters that make mistakes when they're recording their episodes and they want to fix those mistakes later. It's called Descript. And once you've made your first changes to your podcast recording, you can put it into Descript and fix things like making the audio sound way better 
Let's boost that sound quality. Emulate the taste of non-chicken nuggets. Emulate the taste of non-chicken nuggets. Dope. You can make a digital replica of your voice and have it correct any mistakes that you made when you were doing your original recording, which is a feature I've not seen in any other AI tool before. Non-chicken nuggets. Non-chicken nuggets. But they're made to emulate the taste of vegan nuggets. And another thing you can do in this tool is fix eye contact when people keep looking away from the camera. You can just put your script off to the side and read it. And if you don't believe me, I've been using this effect the entire time. I know, crazy. The problem with podcast interviews is you often can't go back and reshoot them. But with the scripts, you don't need to. You can just fix any mistakes that you made when you were originally recording, you just fix it with AI later. I'm jumping ahead a little bit here now too, but once your podcast is ready to go live, you can also use the script to do more things such as automatically generating a YouTube description that explains in detail exactly what happens in that podcast episode and has timestamps for the different chapters. You can use it to create a blog post based on what is said in that podcast and use that blog to get more visitors to your website. And you can even use it to draft social media posts for websites like LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, describing little teasers about what happens in your podcast episode that you can use to get people to come from social media websites to your podcast. Having these things are great for building wider awareness and attention to your podcast, but it used to take hours to type and create this stuff manually yourself after you've made your podcast episode and it can now be done inside the script in a single click of a button. Next, one of my favorites has to be a fire cut. This AI tool just makes your podcast episodes more exciting to watch. And what fire cut does is it adds specific video footage on top of your podcast episode that relates to what is being said at any given moment, just to make your podcast more enjoyable to watch. Firecut opens up inside Adobe Premiere. You'll see it on screen now on the left hand side. And I'll show you how to use Firecut to add extra video footage on top of your podcast episode recording. I've already got a podcast recording open inside Adobe Premiere. You can see that on the right hand side and I can scroll through that episode using the timeline down below. And to add extra video footage, also known as B-roll, on top of that original podcast recording, I just need to press this button here, add B-roll in Firecut, and Firecut will then automatically place relevant video clips at carefully chosen times throughout that podcast recording to make the original podcast episode as a whole just more interesting to watch for the viewer. I use Firecut all the time when I'm making videos just to give my videos that edge and separate them from the competition by just making them a little bit more interesting to watch. It's truly an amazing tool. You can find Firecut by following the link in the description to this video. But what if you wanted to create extra highlight clips of the best moments from your podcast episodes? Well, you need to use this next tool that's called Opus Clip. The Opus Clip AI watches through your original full length podcast episodes, finds the absolute best moments in those recordings, and then automatically edits them down into shorter shareable clips. It makes sure to focus on who's currently speaking at any given time. It automatically adds real-time captions to your clips to just make them more engaging to watch. And you can choose to have either normal video clips created or have vertical clips that you can use on YouTube Shorts, TikToks and Instagram Reels. All the successful podcasters like Joe Rogan know the value in having these shorter shareable clips. They just bring more attention to your podcast brand and speed up your growth. But it used to take so much extra time to create these extra clips. You usually end up hiring someone just to do this one job alone, which a lot of podcasters can't afford to do. But now you don't need to do that. It can all be done in a single click of a button using Opus Clip. I actually found a way to create a thousand clips using Opus Clip in just 10 minutes. And I put it into a video here where I give an even 
deeper dive into all of the open clip features so if you're a podcaster make sure to watch that next and good luck in the next 12 months with your podcast make sure to subscribe i'll be putting out more videos like this in the future and i'll see you very soon bye